the big news today, Manny Machado getting a record deal, $300 million with the Padres. I don't know if that was his number one option. What does it say about Major League Baseball, and what does it say for the Mookie Betts contract that's coming in a couple years? Well, I think the first thing that this says is that Manny Machado does not care about winning one iota. I don't care what John Heyman reports about the, the Padres possibly considering Bryce Harper as well. You, you've got to be kidding me. You could have gone to play for the Yankees or you could have played for the White Sox, who, as much as I will be the first one to dump on the Chicago White Sox, they're somewhat, they're at least trying to build a competitor. You bring in Machado, now you're now it's legitimized. But he doesn't care about winning, so that's one. Two, what does it say about Major League Baseball in terms of the contracts and everything they've been dealing with? I guess it shows that there's still money to be spent and that these small market teams can't afford to spend more money than they're putting on or leading on. Um, and then in terms of Mookie Betts, it means that there's going to be money out there for you, Mookie, but it's going to take a little bit of time. And do you want to play for the Padres? Look, if all you care about is – he's got his ring, so Mookie can do what he wants, I guess. But if all you care about is playing, catching rays, and – I guess just never having to worry about the seasons. Fish, good fish tacos in San Diego? Uh, do they have good fish yeah, tacos? I think so. I've only been out there once. It was November, and I was in a hot tub outside. It was <laughs> amazing. So I can't blame Machado in that regard. All right. I'll obviously uh, set up Bryce Harper for what comes next. All right. I want to talk about some Red Sox position battles. Um, let's start with first base. Mitch Moreland, Steve Pierce. How do they work this out? I think they just go and they split it righty-lefty. There's no reason to kind of mess around with that. I think Steve Pierce mashes lefties in Moreland. Not as much, and, and if you can keep him healthy throughout the duration of the season, I think he's yeah. seen that it can pay dividends in the end. Second base, Dustin Pedroia, you have Brock Holt, who can work out there, Nunez, Eduardo Nunez, how does second base play out? Well, as much as I said before the show that Nunez could be an option at second base, I'd like to avoid that at any possible way because yeah. we saw what he looked like last year. He's so miserable defensively at second. <laughs> um, but Brock Holt is good. The only issue with him is that he's small doses. That's when he's at his best. If he's playing too much right, right. and your primary guy is going to be Pedroia, and I know Dombrowski said they're hoping for 125 games out of him this year. He's in a knee brace, and he's old. I mean, like, I know he's not Brady's age, but he's getting up yeah. there. Like, it's, let's be honest. So you're going to rely on him to take, a, take on the brunt of the games, and then you have Brock Holt right behind him. I, I think that Holt is good. I think Holt will get the job done. But if you go and lean on him to play, I don't know, ni start 90 games, yeah. then you're, you're, or, or even, I don't know, 85, you're playing, you're playing with fire. And at third, you have Rafael Devers and Nunez also in uh, rotation at third. Primarily new, uh, uh, Devers? I would think so, and I think this is why this is why I brought up Nunez as a possible option at second base when we were talking beforehand, because he's going to need to get his at-bats. They're going If they make it to the postseason, he's obviously a very valuable piece. Mm -hmm. So you want to have him find in, you know, plate appearances somewhere. And I think Devers are starting to look at him now as a guy who can, you know, you want to have him be able to hit the lefties too. It doesn't matter. He's supposed to be that talented. So if they want to take that ne next step forward with him and try and push him to the limit and see what he's really capable capable of, then you got to have him hit lefties, and that's going to mean Nunez is not getting as many ABs. And finally, at catcher, uh, you have Blake Swihart, you have Christian Vasquez, and Sandy Leone. Dave Dombrowski says he wants only two catchers. Who's gone? Oh, who's gone? That, I was not ready for that question. Uh, if I were to say one was gone, it would probably be Blake Swihart because he has the most upside. So I think Christian Vasquez is very sound defensively. He took some great step forwards last season. I think Leone took steps back. But when you look at it all, I think Blake Swihart kind of was the most surprising guy of them all last year, and he's definitely the most versatile in terms of where he can play on the field. He's the most, I think he's the most appealing player at, at catcher right. right now, as much as I'd kind of still rather have Christian Vasquez. Uh, before we go, I want to get your thoughts on Chris Sale. Tom Warner and John Henry saying they'd like to do an extension with him, an about face when you consider they wouldn't give a contract to a 30-plus pitcher mm. in John Lester a few years back. What's different, or did they just learn their lesson from Lester, and do you think they get something done with Sale? Definitely learn their lesson, because John Henry spe specifically said that they dropped the ball when it came to John Lester, and I think it's the right move. Whatever, wh I know Chris Sale is probably going to want a decent chunk of change for an extended period of time, but at some point you've got to be willing to deal dish that money out, and I know they did it with David Price. Um, it worked out last year. I wouldn't say it worked out beforehand, but... With Chris Sale, we know what we're getting here. Mm -hmm. we, we know you're going to see a guy who is a bona fide ace as long as he is healthy, and he's going to do everything he can to put himself in that position. He is a gamer. He is an ace by definition, and there are not many of those guys right. in the game of baseball. All right, he's Nick Fryer. Thanks.